session. Is the end in sight? Hi, I'm Summer Morenz, host of DNB Digital TV, and we're in the San Francisco Bay Area asking local businesses how they've made it through these tough times and whether or not they see signs of economic recovery. The name of our shop is Emo's Automotive Repair. We've been in business for 30 years now, well, going on 30 years. We work on automobiles, all makes and models, foreign and domestic, major and minor repairs. We do retail, manufacturing, and repair. Uh, we do, we're a full service jeweler, which means that we take in watches, rings, and we work on all kinds of metals. It could be custom jewelry, sterling silver, platinum gold, we do it all. Well, here at Eve Marie's, we specialize in women's clothing, of course, but the niche behind the store is a cut and sew. So cut and sew boutique means that when a customer comes in, they're given a menu, and from that menu, they're able to order designs. It's called the Fashion Cafe. Um, the repair business is coming back, so the repairs are coming in, so that, as an indication, is good. The retail side, not yet. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Have, uh full calendar for the next couple weeks and it pretty much has been that way for the last several months. I don't believe we're recovering. I think we're at a place where folks are more aware of what's going on. They're not really believing what's in the news and whether we're coming out of it, I don't believe, but I, I feel that we will at some point. How do we be sensitive to the economy? and try to work with people and be innovative uh, with this economy, you can't do what you did 15, 20 years ago. Right. You kind of have to change up your strategy and, and, and do that. Um, fortunately, I'm a full service, so people can't afford to buy something new, so they're going to fix what they have. I'm fortunate because I cut and sew all of the clothing that's in the store. Since kind of the economy thing started to happen, is I teach. So I'm able to fall back on my first love and first gift. So I teach sewing and design to local high school students. Past year we had to lay off uh, employees just due to lack of work. So if we stay steady business again, then uh, bring, try to bring these guys back. To keep the faith that I have in the business as far as knowing that I have a great product and stay persistent with it, that's, that's one thing I have to keep reminding myself why I'm doing this. Keep doing it. Keep moving forward. We, in 30 years, have established an incredible, loyal, strong customer base, and they're what, that's what helped us keep our doors open, you know, those people and their loyalty. Kind of keep, keep your debts to a minimum so that when, when it gets tough, you're not overwhelmed with payments that you can't make. To expect the unexpected, um, to never assume that you're going to be doing well all the time, Kind of like listen to what the economy is happening to the economy and make changes when you can. Had to cut back a little on, yeah. you know, extra spending, hobbies. I've learned a great deal of patience, um, and also I know that within myself I have a great deal of tenacity. So if you are not cut out for this, then don't even jump. Personally, it made me kind of like, geez, you know, um, life isn't what I thought it was going to be like. Well, you heard it from the business owners that are in it every day. Hopefully, this economy will go nowhere but up. Well, I'm Summer, and I will see you next time right here.